In this video, we see the use of multiple FortiLink interfaces in the FortiGate perimeter firewall to separate WAN from the internal networks, providing physical separation and increased bandwidth for the connection to the ISP. This is done in four quick steps. Configure new FortiLink interface, discover Forti switches, enable MCLAG, and finally configure the WAN VLAN and assign to the Fort switch ports. We start by creating a new aggregate interface, selecting its members and assigning the IP address. Then, on the CLI, we enable the interface for FortiLink. Back on the GUI, we enable the automatic for switch authorization to discover the switches. We see that the default VLANs are automatically created. The FortiLink interface menu now presents the list of interfaces enabled for FortiLink. More FortiLink interfaces can now be created using the Create New button. Double click the new FortiLink interface to see its final settings. While Forti switches are getting discovered, we will name and assign them to a new Forti switch group for the WAN switches. This is very useful to organize uh, them in a logical way and perform actions such as firmware upgrade. We can now check the manage Forti switch list view showing the newly discovered switches. On the drop down menu on the right side, it's possible to switch between Forti link interfaces. Now we see the list of the switches from the original FortiLink interface with the internal networks. Changing to the topology view, we see the two FortiLink stacks connected to FortiGate. The next step is to enable MCLAG. It's easily done from FortiGate using switch recommendation CLI. First, the MCLAG peers are identified, then the configuration is applied and saved to FortiGate. So it's preserved in case of fort switch replacement or configuration restore. After enabling MCLAG, it's necessary to disable split interface to make all the links active. The topology is automatically updated showing the new MCLAG peer group. The last step is to configure the VLAN for the one network and assign it to the fort switch port. Under fort switch VLANs menu, Create a new interface, assign the VLAN ID, IP address, and other optional settings. Go to Fort Switch port, select the ports connecting to the SP router, and assign the VLAN to them. The search bar is very efficient in finding the configured ports. Thank you.